Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, in this video, I am going to show you the changes and improvements in the release preview channel of Windows 11 Insider Preview, version 23H2, build 22631.5116, KB5053657. So, without further ado, let's begin. As part of the ongoing commitment to improving File Explorer accessibility, this release includes increased support for text scaling in the Settings app, then Accessibility, and Select Text Size. Microsoft is no longer going to roll some changes out in this release to address a few more issues. The company has enabled Settings home page on commercial devices with your account's card. Top cards such as Storage, Graphics, RAM, etc. are at the top of the About Settings page. For Japanese users, the name displaying at the top of Settings app in account section shows first name last name, instead of last name first name. This issue is now fixed by the company. Microsoft has enabled the gamepad keyboard layout for the touch keyboard in Windows 11. This change introduces the ability to use your Xbox controller to navigate and type. This includes button accelerators like the X button for backspace, the Y button for the spacebar. Additionally, the keyboard keys have been vertically aligned for better controller navigation patterns. There is a new experience to improve the discoverability of the emoji and more panel in Windows 11. With the introduction of a new system tray icon on the taskbar. The company is changing the way Task Manager calculates CPU utilization for the processes, performance, and users' pages. Task Manager will now use the standard metrics to display CPU workload consistently, across all pages and aligning with industry standards and third-party tools. For backward compatibility, a new optional column called CPU Utility is available on the Details tab, showing the previous CPU value used on the Processes page. This update adds support for a new function in Filter Manager, that enhances the system's ability to notify applications of directory changes, while minimizing input-output operations. This update enhances text quality and customer experience in web browsing for Chinese, Japanese, and Korean languages by introducing the Noto font family. This provides modern, comprehensive font support for these languages. There are some fixes in this update like fixed certain get help troubleshooters that might not run in a remote desktop session. Fixed certain get help troubleshooters that might not run in a remote desktop session. This update fixes the issue affecting mobile connectivity configurations for connected PCs. It resolves incorrect Internet of Things and access point name settings that were previously applied. Fixed printers using independent hardware vendor drivers that might unexpectedly output incorrect or unwanted text. This update resolves an issue for users with profiles redirected to a network, virtual hard disk, where a specific failure could lead to a system crash fixed an issue where a stop error may occur during normal usage, with the user profile redirected to a network VHD. Action suggestions that appear when you copy a phone number or future date in Windows 11 are now deprecated and being removed. Improved support for web search providers in Windows Search for the EEA, including increased discoverability. So, that was it, hope it was useful, consider like for the video. Subscribe to the channel and if you have any question, just comment down below, thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.